In this video, I'll be working on lab number nine from the Flatbox uh, Cisco CCNA lab guide, which is a free download available at flatbox.com. Um, the name of this um, lab is Connectivity Troubleshooting, and it just says in this lab you'll troubleshoot a connectivity issue. So let's scroll down and we'll get started. Uh, it says use ping to test connectivity from PC1 to PC3. So let's do that and we will open up the command prompt and we're going to pin try pinging 10.1.2.10 and we'll see what happens with that um, request timeout that could be an ARP request or it could be a problem so let's see all right looks like we have a problem um, so we're not able to get there via ping we don't have connectivity so it says use traceroute to determine where the problem is likely to be all right, so we will pull up the command prompt again, and the command for trace route in um, Windows is trace RT, and we're going to trace route to 10.1.2.10, which is PC3, 10.1.2.10, and we're making some progress here. So we started at uh, PC1, the first hop it went to is 10.0.1.1, so 10.0.1.1, which is this interface, then it made it to the 10.0.2. 10.0.0.2 so that would be this interface 10.0.0.2 from this network then it made it to 10.1.0.1 so 10.1.0.1 it made it to this one and that's as far as we're getting it looks like uh, so let's break out of trace route over here use control C and um, just says determine the issue and fix it to record uh, restore connectivity between PC1 and PC3. So let's go. Um, we're able to get over here, it looks like. So let's start with R2, router 2, and let's take a quick look at the routing tables to make sure. Well, I think it would be okay if, if it's getting to here. So the routing table is probably okay there. Let's look at router 3 to look for some potential problems. Uh, hit enter. Uh, enabled to go into um, privilege exec mode and we're going to do a show IP route so let's make sure that um, R3 knows about the networks so 10.0.0.0 which is this network is via 10.1.0.2 10.1.0.2 so that's correct so it knows about the 10.0.0 network via the next hop of 10.1.02. Um, router 3 knows about the 10.0.1.0, which is this network, also via the same hop, that would be correct. It knows about the 10.0.2.0, which would be down here. It knows about 10.0.3.0, which would be down here, also the same next hop. So router 3 knows about uh, this network, this network, this network, and this network. All right, so does router three have, uh, well, so we worked um, on these. What about this network, 10.1.0.0? No, 10.1.0.0, no, there it is. All right, so 10.1.0.0, um, it does because it's directly connected, so it knows about that, so we're all the way to here. What about 10.1.0? Uh, 10 yep, it knows about that one because it's directly connected. And then 10.1.3.0, uh, which is down here, and that's via 10.1.1.1. So router 3 sees this network, sees this network, this one, this one. 10100, this one, 10110, sees that one, uh, 10112, uh, that's, um, that's the interface. All right, uh, 10130, so it doesn't have this one, it looks like. 10.1.2.0, no, and that might be the issue, because uh, router three, doesn't seem to know how to get over here. So um, 
let's let's try that IP um, to add a new route you just do IP route and then you do the network which is 10.1.2.0 10.1.2.0 the subnet mask, uh, which is a slash 24, so that's 255.255.255.0. And the next hop for R3 to get to this network would be here. So the 10.1.1.1 uh, interface, 10.1.1.1. Uh, what did I mess up? Oop, control U. Um, oh, I gotta be in global configuration mode. Let's try that again. So IP route 10.1.2.0 255.255.255.0 255, 255, and then 10.1.1.1 is the next hop. And now let's try router three. Um, let's exit down and let's try pinging uh, the 10.1. Well, let's just try pinging our uh, PC3. So 10 ping 10. 1.2.10 and I don't know if it's going to work. First one's okay. So let's do it again. Yep, we're successful in getting over here now. Um, so now let's go back, uh, see if that was the problem with PC1. Go to command prompt, we'll up arrow the um, trace route to 10.1.2.10. And it looks good. So PC1 started here at 10.0.1.1, moved to 10.0.0.2, which is this interface, then to 10.1.0.1, .1, then to 10.1.1.1, and then on to 10.1.2.10. So that was it. We had a um, route missing over here. Uh, show IP route on router three went to the 10.1.2.0 network there's that and uh, that was the problem so we looked at the uh, the routing tables which is a good place to start I guess well you know I start with the interfaces because on actual physical equipment you're not going to have a nice picture here showing you a green up uh, showing you that it's up you actually are gonna have to look at those to make sure you don't have like a cable issue or something but then check the routing tables and sure enough there was just one missing so the information was able to get here but then r3 didn't know how to get over to this network that's the end of this video hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one